Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Hello, everybody. It's December 21st, and Mother Nature just keeps throwing curveballs at me. I'm still be working on the barn, and, and what am I working on today? Uh, a foot of snow. Uh, serious snowfall and it's, and they're calling for another 10 centimeters so that's like another four inches today and tomorrow another four inches tomorrow uh, like it's just it's like look at this like it's crazy the snow it's uh anyways the ducks uh i was out here last night uh before i turned the light off hello ducks i gotta do uh i gotta get the tractor out here and plow some paths so i can do my duck chores it was, uh, like I'm drudging through this, and it's like eight inches of snow I'm walking through here right now. Hello, duckies! You know, these guys, uh, they're not phased by the, this weather at all. And I gotta clean out the duck tent in there, the duck shed. Yeah, I got the green over here. We're gonna do our injuries on. It's, uh, we're like talking some serious snow here. Where are the ducks are going to come out. Hello! Hello, ducks! No, they're not coming out. Just making a lot of noise. Are you guys coming? You're pretty well sticking over here, aren't you? this area here at all. Yes, I know, God, shut up! They're louder now than they've ever been. All right, well, let's go do some uh, egg uh, recon here. Hello there, Miss Muscovy. Oh yeah, go inside. That's all I got to do. I got to clean up this today. Uh, the do, uh, they're spending so much time in here. Holy mackerel, look at the eggs in here today. It's like someone uh, threw an egg grenade in here. All right, we got the one. Oh yeah, definitely this has to be changed today. This is disgusting. Dude. And three, four. That's good because I just had uh, a dozen eggs scrambled this morning for breakfast. Five. Look at this corner. Oh, it, I'm supposed to be working in the barn today. Uh, you know, so I can get this expansion done, and I'm going to be spending four hours as I deal with snow. What are we at here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, eighteen eggs, eighteen duck eggs. It looks like, and chicken eggs. One. No, two. Two chicken eggs. 18 duck eggs. So production's really going through the roof here, which tells me, yeah, which tells me we gotta get uh, the nesting boxes done here. So it's uh, there's a whack of eggs, but I gotta clean this out today. It's gross. I don't like it. Hey guys, I gotta clean this out. We're gonna get you some fresh water, and uh, I'll pick those eggs up here in a few seconds here once I get the camera turned off. It's a little hard bending over there underneath that rock and picking eggs up and holding the camera all at the same time and trying not to fall into duck poop. Hey, how's everybody doing? Yeah, we're gonna clean that out today. This building, the building needs a refresh job today, doesn't it? Then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get the tracker in here, do a couple passes to clear some space for you guys. Like I said, uh, you know, Mother Nature keeps throwing these curveballs at me. I was supposed to be in the barn working. I got about uh, six hours worth of work done yesterday. I, I stopped last night about six o'clock. I was getting tired. And 
<laughs> well, I, mean, I guess I put about seven hours into the barn yesterday. <laughs> we'll get the water going here today. But last night, uh, what I'm going to do is I, I figured it out. I'm putting the, the light, that uh, uh, the yard light I showed you last night, uh, that right there. I'm going to put it on a photo cell. And I'm going to uh, put it on a timer. So I'm going to have it so the photo cell comes on, uh, you know, when it, obviously the sun sets. But I'm going to have it so it turns off at 9 o'clock at night. Uh, because uh, they will stay out all night partying like it's 1999. They're like teenagers. So as soon as you turn the light off, they'll go into the building, uh, you know, and, and stop the panic. Uh, if they hear noises, though, they, they freak right out. That's the one thing about uh, no light is if they hear noise, they go nuts. Uh, but I'm hoping once we get in the barn, that'll be a lot better for them. But the uh, I want to keep them outside till at least nine o'clock at night, uh, you know, unless it's really really cold, and then you know we'll turn the lights off so it forces them into the building. Plus, it makes it a lot better, uh, you know, filming at night. Just look at the, the depth of this snow. You know, that poor girl. She's like can barely walk through it. And they keep picking away at my building. Let's see what kind of damage we're doing to the log tree. Yeah, actually, they're not doing any damage, but they just peck away at it all the time. Yeah, no, there's, there's no damage. Not like the front. They've actually uh, been chewing away at the log here on the front. I'll show you. This bottom log, this is one of the bottom logs I've got to replace. And if you look here, they, they're, they're chewing off the rotted uh, board. I guess the rotted log, I guess it's soft, uh, but they just can't stop themselves. They're on it all the time. So I want to get back and working inside the barn, but I got to deal with Mother Nature and what she's giving me today. Let's look at this little duck. Snow, lots of snow this year. And it's starting to rain, and they were calling for ice pellets today. So. And they're calling for like five centimeters of ice pellets on top of the snow. So that, you know, we can get, that's two inches of ice. Uh, which the last time we had ice uh, coming down like this was, I don't know, about 15 years ago when we had an ice storm and took out the power for a week. Actually, I think it took out power for about two weeks. So it was, a, it was not a good situation in this part of the world. See, they're down there waiting for me to drain the tub. That's what they're their head. That's why they're down there. Look at them. This one here. He's chiseling away at the ice. And they want me to pull the plug. But I'm not going to pull the plug yet because, like I said, I'm going to bring the tractor in here and give it a couple passes just to give it a little more clearing so they have a little more room to walk around because, they, like I said, they're, they're hanging around on this side uh, because they've got it packed down. So... I'll get the tractor and I'll uh, clear out over there some for them and give them a little more room in the pen. Now they're quiet. But that's what they want. They want me to pull the drain on the tub. Creatures of habit, these guys. So, oh, Mr. Big Wiscovy with his big Elvis hairdo. Look at the hairdo on this guy. Like, I, I, they're, they're, the hair is, or the, the feather, uh, you know, plumage they've got on their head. I keep calling it a hairdo because it looks like an Elvis haircut, but you know, with the gel on the top. He's got a gel hairdo. Anyways. Oh, we got females flying all over. They get screwed up when they land in the snow, though. I guess they see the uh, the snow, the surface, gauge their landing gear to that, and then they sink three, four inches, and it screws them right up, and they end up uh, doing a chest implant in the snow. Funny as hell. I think it's funny. Oh, they're all quiet now. Hello? Hello, ducks? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, I'm rolling them up. It, it seemed to me, you know, they, I can roll them up so well and then they get all quacking like nuts. Hello? Hello, ducks? 
<laughs> well, you're gonna be quiet now. Make a liar out of me. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Because like I said, I've got, uh, I've got about four hours worth of snow removal to do here. The joys of living in the, uh, the frozen north. But I love it. I love the temperature uh, change. I like the extremes and I like the uh, the change in seasons. I, I honestly, I love the, you know, the heat in the south and I really love the heat, but I also love the cold. I love both. I'm, I'm sick. Shoveling the snow here on the back deck and I look up and my ducks have made a, uh, a break for it. They're, uh, they came out of the pen to trudge through the deep snow. I just want to give you a shot here. It's funny, uh, <laughs> this is hilarious. They're, the snow is deep enough that it's actually causing them problems. But they're still doing it because they're going down to where they think water is. Look at that. They're all, uh, this is, uh, I haven't drained the tub yet. <laughs> Look at them. They can barely walk through the snow. <laughs> These guys are too funny. They are not phased at all by the snow. <laughs> Look at them. They can barely walk. <laughs> they're almost swimming across the snow is what it looks like they're actually they are actually the female right there the female rowan she's pushing herself through the snow on her belly oh look at this down here these guys are doing it too this is too funny today So uh, I must have blown there because they, uh, it's not as deep. But we did some wind last night, so the snow could be different level, different depths all around the yard. These ducks are nuts. But they're down here looking for water. That's what it is. They're they're hoping I'm going to drain the tub, which I will. As soon as I get the tractor out here and uh, I'm going to get a little bit of plowing happening. Uh, I'll let the water out so they can play in the slush because they love slush. <laughs> These ducks are nuts, man. And like, you know, like all of my subs there who have, uh, you know, ducks and chickens. And they all say that these ducks are like serious tough. I'm am amazed by them because the weather, it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's the fact that they had the two months, uh, you know, out in the lake there, October, September and October, that they got, uh, you know, hardened up and, you know, they, uh, they know what it's like to be outside and they prefer outside because literally, like last night I showed you with the light on. If I leave the light on, they'd rather be outside than in their shed. And I, you know, and it's, uh, they, they like being outside. And even when it was, you know, when we had that cold snap and it was 25, 27, 29 below, you know, I had to turn the light off and cover the tub so it would force them into the shed. Uh, these guys would rather be outside. They don't want to be inside. Which, I, you know, I don't blame them. I like being outside too. But these guys are serious uh, outside ducks. Like, look at them. They're in the snow. And one of them, they're shivering. Oh, she stopped shaking. <laughs> it's so funny in the deep snow. Well, like I said, I'm going to get in here with the tractor and give it a, uh, some plow. Oh, we got some there headed over to underneath the building. They know where there's dirt. I can just imagine next spring how much duck feces is going to be under that building. Oh, Rocco's down here. He's uh, following the ducks. These ducks are nuts. I, I left the gate open, you know, just so I could shovel snow, and they decided to come up for a rip. Hey, Rock. These ducks are as crazy as you are in the snow. 
All right, I'm going to get back to shoveling because I'm having so much fun shoveling. Well, at least the snow is fluffy today. It, uh, if we get that, that ice, it will get nice and heavy. I don't want to get it down before it gets heavy. But it looks like they ate quite a lot of food last night, though. Yeah, they made a serious dent in their feeder. Which was really another was, was really, another thing that was really strange. I'm gonna lost for words here. My tongue's not working. Uh, was during that cold snap there. Uh, they actually went through less food than they do normally. Uh, and my only thought is on that one is they just you know they were locked in the building sleeping all the time, and they were just you know basically staying warm. And when it's nice like this, they're out in a boat and they've got an appetite, or they're just you know access to the food is is easier. But. I'm gonna get the tractor out here and make some uh, paths for them, make it a little easier for them to truck around. All right, I'm just uh, taking a little bit of a break here. I've been, uh, th I mean, uh, th at the three and a half hour mark, cleaning up here after the snowstorm, and I'm just now starting to uh, shovel out the uh, the duck shack. I fed the little guys. They woofed down a, uh, a an absolute complete feeder. It was bone empty. There was nothing left inside of it. So. Uh, they they were hungry obviously last night. Of course they were up last night till nine o'clock partying like it was 1999. So, hey Mr. Muscovy, so we're gonna uh, shovel out uh, the duck pen now or the duck shock. I mean, uh, I'm using my sleigh here. It works out. It's better than my uh, my wagon. One is easier to go through the snow with, and two, it holds exactly one bale of dirty straw. So it's one load, you're done. I just filled the. Uh, the tub up here for the ducks. Actually, just filled up, and then, uh, they were down there playing in the water, just like I said they would be. So we're, they're, uh, <laughs> they, they, they can't get enough of water. Scopes can fly in out of the pen all day while I've been working. They will give a duck slush and uh, he's happy. But they've been, uh, everywhere I plowed, they've been chewing up the grass that's uh, appearing here. So, but just look at this. This is frozen mud on these guys. They love water. So I give their uh, penny uh, plow here so they can walk around a little more uh, freely and not struggle so much. The little lawn tractor was good for this job. I don't do my whole driveway because my neighbor comes and does it with his big tractor. It's too hard of a tractor. I've got a laneway that's over 400 feet long and the little tractor uh, can't cut it. But it's good for working in the pen. I know we got some serious uh, maintenance action calling here. We got three females trying to get laid by one male. Oh, we've got uh, two drinks fighting. A peaking and a, a uh, rolling here. That male right there, I uh, didn't like that idea of that uh, male having any nookie. But the fighting isn't bad. They're only doing uh, like little scuffles, it's not big uh, brawls. There's enough females and enough space, uh, you know, they, they're going nuts on each other. Turn the hose off and freeze because it's about minus eight right now, so I try to leave it right while I'm getting the shed out. So they get to play in some water. And as you can tell, they really like playing the water.
you know, you really don't get an idea. Of, uh, you, so you really get an idea of how big the Muscovy is when you see him standing here amongst all the other ducks. He just towers over everybody. They're a massive duck. And they haven't picked a fight with any other drinks yet at all. They've been uh, really good and actually they're not even fighting between each other. They're actually the most simple of all the drinks so far. And they are mating because I am watching them, you know, they are doing the females. Uh, you know, they're not as sexually active as the Rowan and the Peking are, but they are uh, active. The Rowan and the Peking are screw crazy. They must mature faster. Watch, the Scoby will uh, mature and start beating the crap out of everything. My friends have warned me, uh, he raised the Scobies and uh, he says uh, one of the males get big and they mature. They don't tolerate much. But so far, you know, they're, they're actually quite nice ducks. I mean, they're nice and laid back. And, you know, they don't, uh, they don't challenge me once when they go to the house. Muscovy right there now is talking to that female that wants to uh, get laid. He just hissed at her, so uh, he's talking to her. Oh, that Rowan uh, just put a little bit of a chase on him there. Hey, Mr. Rowan, you better watch out that Muscovy would beat the crap out of you. Cleaned up. I'm going to get back home with my lunch here, which I'm supposed to be working in the barn, and uh, that's not happening here today. I'm dealing with winter. A lot of winter delays this year on this duck expansion. I'm hoping that by Christmas, uh, Christmas morning, I'm hoping the ducks are in their uh, at, in the building, in the in the barn. That's my goal. Christmas morning, the ducks wake up in their uh, in the barn. And if everything goes right this week, uh, it's, it's only Wednesday morning, so I better hurry up. I just got the shack uh, cleaned out here. I just want to show you some happy ducks. This uh, male here, he gets in here and he's just, uh, his tail's just a wagon. He loves, this, one male, this male is always inside. Uh, and he's always got a couple females with him. So I'll turn the light on here so you don't want to light. And the chickens, they just love the straw. But I'm, uh, right now I'm playing with the ducks. I'll just close my uh, gate up here, door up here. And, because I'm almost done, except I'm doing a little playing right now with the garden hose because the ducks, uh, I just can't help myself. I'm as bad as the ducks, actually. I just want to show you here when you get playing with them. They come right over to the water. But I made a liar out of me, Doc. So moves right in. Oh, 
I like when they try to clean themselves and lift their feet up. Yeah, they, they do that when they're in the water floating. They use their, their feet to uh, clean themselves. And when they're having a shower like this, they uh, try to do it standing, and it's so funny. I like when they do that. It's so cute when they stand on one foot and try to clean themselves. Oh. I waste more time playing with these guys, honestly. I'm telling you, they're serious distraction. Now it's only like minus five right now, so it's actually, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> we got this big Lascoli, he just tried to get in the tail. Silly bird. Some of the Pekings, like, they're, they're crazy, but eat nice. Like, they're always eating ice. Chunks of ice. Two of them, like, little kids. Oh, there's a female. She's going to have a bath. Everybody's going to be clean tonight. Fresh straw. This is a luxury life they have. They're nice and clean here, they're clean up nice. This big male looks like he's going to jump in the uh, tub here. Well, I made enough of math here. I got a cut of mud hole happening. <laughs> They're crazy ducks. They're certainly winter ducks. Although they're not uh, any, they're not wusses by uh, any means here.
gonna be so much fun this spring when we get all the ducklings. We're gonna be down to the lake real early this year. I figure we should be on the water by uh, mid-April, end of April. As soon as the ice lifts. female Rowan doesn't want the uh, Muscovy in the tub with her. <laughs> this bathtub idea worked out great. Cleans up real good. You can uh, drain it and uh, get all the crap out of it. You don't even have to touch anything. I've seen some other guys on YouTube with uh, duck tubs and Actually, there's one guy in Australia. He paid like 2,500 bucks for it, and I was like, a little, a little overkill. But you know, this is a, an old recycled bathtub with an insulating job. And I'm into it for about 120 bucks, and the ducks love it. It's deep enough that they can uh, dunk themselves, swim, and and uh, you know, the insulating job is working out great. It's not losing any heat at all. Well, actually, if you look at the side here, the ice on the side, uh, you know, there, there's no heat loss in this tub at all. There's ice all over it, coated everywhere, if you look. Serious ice coatings. But, the, you know, where the water is, uh, that is not frozen. It's uh, perfect. It did a hell of a job. All right, well, I'm done for the day. I'm not going to be doing any work today. It's Saturday. I'm going to take the day off. I'm going to get up early tomorrow and... Uh, Spend Sunday inside the barn. Hopefully we don't get that big ice storm tonight. There's, they're calling like for about five to ten centimeters of ice pellets, so I hope it doesn't hit. Oh, so that's uh, that's the uh, the duck adventure for today. I'm done. I'm gonna go and turn their yard light on so they can have a little fun here till nine o'clock, and then it's uh, lights out at nine. <laughs>